on your nerves yet? Is that a yes? Hey, Mocha family. <laughs> I am back with my oldest daughter, Rebecca, who is graduating in two short weeks and <laughs> she's not going to college. So I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about what if you have a kid who the next step after high school is not college. And I just wanted to share what our experience has been like together. So where, where are you going? I'm going into dance. Uh, there is a professional Christian ballet company that I will be joining their training program after graduate. So, so you'll be dancing ballet. You'll be training to be a professional ballerina, which doesn't involve a lot of time for school, even Ooh. though some, some people have done it. I mean, honestly, it's been a real process to get to this point. I mean, up until the middle of the school year, we were both working on a scenario where she could apply to college and also pursue this kind of thing. It was it was kind of weird, though, because like, so I, we do it. I'm not, have you told them about not the army? We have, school. yeah, we have, we do an umbrella school. So yeah. I have like an academic advisor and we're graduating through that school as well. And so like for, since like my junior year, my academic advisor has kind of been on me to kind of, you know, choose either college or dance because, um, you know, through high school, I've been trying to take like advanced courses so that I would do well in college or that would set me up well for college as well as doing all my dance stuff. And I didn't really have time for both. So she was like, you kind of need to choose an option because you can't take both. And so like senior year, I, I finally sat down with both of my parents. We met with my academic advisor and I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go do dance, which is a very scary decision to finally like go for it, like all the way, like no backup plan, just go. That was very scary. But then it was, it was kind of weird though, because it was like, I made the decision, but then mom was kind of like, well, there's still like a college fair we could go to. So it was still kind of like, well, have I chosen it or not? But yeah, even she and, I, and I think, sure. I think what yes. was going on with me was just the assumption that success means you finish school as much school as you're able to finish. Like I always imagine that for me, a child not going to college was, would be because they can't go to college. And, or maybe they didn't have the academic capacity to go to college or we didn't have the money to send them to college. But it, it just never occurred to me that I would have an academically capable child like you and just make the choice not to go to college. And especially, you know, as an African-American person, you know, I can't believe I said African-American. I never say African-American person. <laughs> as a black person, especially as a black person, I just never imagined that I would choose to kind of what I would think of taking one of the credentials that are necessary away from myself in a situation where potentially it would be hard for me to get ahead without it. So, you know, I just always believe that part of the basic education that you need to have is to finish college. I think even for me, it was it was difficult because like, I mean, I've always wanted to dance, like ever since I was little, it's always been a huge dream, a huge passion to become a professional ballet dancer. But at the same time, like I have two parents, like mom went to, uh, uh, what's it called? Ivy League school, Ivy League college, undergrad, and my dad went like grad as a grad school. They both, that's how they met in Ivy League school. So it's kind of like education has always been important in my house. And I always just assumed that I'd be able to do dance and college and even like full-time career and also professional dancer. But so like for me, I always viewed people who didn't go to college as being like, I mean, a little bit like maybe like just not smart or like, how could you not go to college? Like I've known people who haven't and it's been like, why are you not going to college? Like you're supposed to go to college after high school. Like, I'm not, like I never wanted to be one of those people, whatever that means. Whatever that means. Yeah. And, I, and I'm starting to learn that the assumption that I had is not necessarily the right assumption because even when I went back to my 20th year reunion, college reunion, a lot of people, you you know, you go around the room, how many of you are doing what you majored in? And most of the people said they were doing nothing like what they majored in. But, you know, 
there's still a part of you that feels like that college degree guarantees you certain open doors and opportunities and not having it shut certain doors and opportunities. But one thing I also had to wrap my mind around is the fact that is there really a set time that it has to happen? Like if, it, if college doesn't happen now, college can never happen. And if college never happens, does that mean that you'll never be able to have the things that you want and to get to the places that you need to get to? But for me, the acceptance of the situ situation isn't something that I rationalize. You know, what happened to me is that you went away to the summer dance program of that school and I just really felt when we went to pick you up, when we when we when we heard what you were doing, when we when we saw the performances, I just really felt like God really dealing with me and just really showing me that this was where you were supposed to be and that this was the path that you were supposed to be following. And that's really more so than anything, how I came to the acceptance of it. And also, <laughs> I don't know if you remember when we went to that college tour, we, I took her to Princeton. We, my son was, was participating in, you know, in a, in a math, some kind of math engineering type of conference. I can't remember you know what it is and so we we at princeton so we thought why not bring her and let her do like the college tour beautiful campus it was a beautiful campus I beautiful like campus and while we were sitting in the room all i could think about is man the student that they're describing as the one that they're looking for that's you that's you you would do so well there you would be so good there and you sat there poker face through the whole thing you know you seem like you were listening you even seem like you were somewhat interested and then when we walked out what and i asked you what did you think what did you say all i can see is four more years of school <laughs> i couldn't when she said that when she said that i just remember thinking okay okay just knowing what all it entails to succeed through college and especially an Ivy League college where, you know, you're stacked with students that, you know, are extremely competitive and are performing at a high academic level. Just knowing that it, it just became brutally obvious that even if you had the capacity to do it, where you were just wasn't a good place to push you you know, in that direction. If I had any more, you know, doubts, I think that experience told me then and there, no, it's not about how it looks. It's not about how much they sound like they want you. It's about what you want to do. Yeah. I think if I had gone to college, I think there would have been a lot of like, what ifs, like, what if I had gone to dance? Like, would I be, you know, where would I, like, I think I would always just have that question of what if, what if, what if, and that was one thing a lot of people were telling me was like, okay, then if you're gonna have, don't like, don't live with those what ifs. Like, take a step and go. And if you don't like it, it's fine. You can always come back home. You can always go to college. You can always, you know, move on. You're not stuck. So. Yeah. And one thing we did is we did lay out the quote unquote biblical fleece. You know, there's a whole Bible story about a Bible character named Gideon putting a fleece in front of God and saying, well, if this happens, then I'll know you want me to do this. Or if that happens, I'll know you want me to do that. And so one of the fleeces we put out was she could want to go into a ballet company all she wants to, but she has to get in. She has to get in somewhere. So we thought it would be really obvious if we applied and she didn't get in, then we would know that that wasn't the route. You know what was very interesting was I myself was like praying like, God, I need to hear your voice on this. Is this what you want me to do? Because doors had opened, but I was still like, okay, but God, what do you want me to do? Like, I know a lot of other people are saying, God wants you here. Like, this is your next step. But I like, I need to feel for myself that this is what you want. And it's, it was crazy. Like, I went into the audition and I was so nervous. And personally, I think I did very, very terribly. Like, I think I thought I did so bad, but I still got in. So it was almost like I couldn't give myself any of the glory. I couldn't say like, oh, it's because I did so well and I spoke so well that, you know, I got in. It's like, no, that was the grace of God, honey. Like, yeah. I just, you know, it was, it was very interesting. I was like, really? Yeah. Can you just like told me? <laughs> but, but one thing know. I've learned through this whole experience is that I kind of wish we could kind of slow the process of self-discovery 
and life planning down a little bit. I mean, I know it's yeah. not all that practical in the sense that adult children, they need to take care of themselves. They need to know what the next step is so that they can support themselves because it's, it's difficult the older they get. And as their needs become more sophisticated for parents to have to be responsible for taking care of adult kids while they try to find themselves. But at the same time, I feel like our process is too narrow. I feel like, I mean, even the way I did it, I went straight through school. I went from high school to college to graduate school to a job and it really wasn't until I was literally working my job that I realized that this isn't exactly what I want to do with this skill set and it's not until now like you know I'm in my mid 40s that I could really look at myself and say this is what you really are this is what your skill set really is for this is what I want to learn more about and develop more in my mid 40s but yet as an 18 year old you you yeah. have the pressure even, to figure that even out even earlier because i mean it starts more so in junior year because that's when my academic advisor was like okay you need to figure it out because you've got you know you've got acts and sats and all that stuff you start like preparing junior year and then senior year it's more like actually walking it out kind of like you know what i'm saying so i mean i just think about now like i'm 18 and i still feel like so mature and little so i think about my little 16 year old self yeah. like making that huge, huge decision, decision. It's like, but we always tell you that, you know, it doesn't have to be one decision forever because that's not the reality of how we actually live after accumulating those degrees. I mean, I noticed that one thing people do is the minute they're discontent or unhappy, they go back to school and they get another degree or they try something else, you know, because we're always changing and we're always growing and we're always learning more about ourselves. And so it's good if you have a clear leading about what you want to do when you're 18, but if you don't, it's okay. And we even tell you now, as you go into this dance opportunity, you know, go for it, have your heart in it, do it, do the best that you can. But if in three years you're like, okay, I thought this was what I want to do, but now I know more about it. And this is how I want to apply this passion that I have. <laughs> and you know, maybe it's more dance or maybe it's not, you know, and I just feel like college is just that one thing that we always assume is going to make everything fall into place, but it's just not necessarily the case for everybody. And I'm learning that it's okay, but it's still hard at times for me, you know, because people always ask, okay, you know, so where is she going? What is she going to do? And where does college fit? Like college always has to fit somewhere. If not now, then when? My parents have been very funny this entire process. We have, because we want the best for you and we go back and forth and we know what the world is like and we know what applying for a job is like and we know that one of the first things they ask you is, you know, what college did you graduate from? And there's from? no, like, we don't have any extended relative members, family members, like, whatsoever who went into dance and went professional. So yeah, we have, we like, don't. no we one have, There's no one. There's no one. But at the same time, though, we do have the example of a dancer who didn't go to college. She went straight through dance, founded her own company. You know, she's she's kind of finishing a college degree, but it's kind of moot at this point because she's running a successful dance school, dance company, training you know, program. training, you know, she's doing it all and without the college degree first. And so it kind of makes you realize that depending on who you are, the steps may be a little bit different. The steps may be a little different and it's okay to kind of step out and, and create your own path and your own process. Yeah. I'll try not to rule college out completely, but for now, <laughs> You're like, hallelujah. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. I, I'm, I'm so excited. Now. No, no college. I'm, I'm, mm, mm. I'm so happy. <laughs> but, and you know, and another thing too even like i'm looking at my son who did go to college even though he's an artist himself with his, his his music gifting you know i don't know that he'll go right from college and into a graduate school program you know what i'm saying and you know we know someone who just graduated from college summa cum laude you know and she's taking a year off i think it's so 
good <laughs> that she's taking a year off, even just to sit and reflect and to grow and to make other experiences. I mean, I know for me, like I always say, ideally, it would be great to go somewhere else and see another country, see another world, see people having different experiences than what we have here you know, or it, the, even if you stay in America, go and experience something else somewhere else with a, with other kinds of people. I think it just broadens your mind and it just exposes your giftings and your talents in a way that you may not experience just sitting, sitting straight through school, you know? And so it's not easy. It's not easy, but I, I am excited. I am excited to see you go through this process. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'm I excited. know, I know. I'm she's, a little, she's I, a little nervous. I kind of, I'm gonna miss you, but I'm excited. <laughs> I kind of don't want you to go, but I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what you guys are going through or what your thought processes are like. Even if your kids are really young, I know these things are always in the back of our minds. So let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below. Do you think college is an absolute must right after high school or at all, in fact? Or are you someone who didn't go to the college route and are grateful that you did it and what was your experience like? So let me know. And if you were a junior or a senior in high school and you don't really know what you want to do and you're kind of like stressing out, just relax, just breathe. It's gonna be okay, I was there too. It will all work itself out. Just kind of take it step by step one day at a time and just pay attention to the Holy Spirit and his leading. Congratulations, I am so proud of you. Of course you are. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit those that notification bell so that you know when my next videos are coming out and I will see you in the next video. Be blessed. Bye.